section at 65 talks about the ju talks about judgment and salvation. I was ready to be sought by those who did not ask for me. I was ready to be found by those who did not who did not seek me. I said, Here I am. Here am I. Ernest is a. I said, Here am I. Here am I. To a nation that was not called by my name, I spread out my hands all the day to a, to a rebellious people who walk in a way that is not good, following their own devices. The people who provoke me to, to my face continually, sacrificing in gardens and making offerings to, on bricks, who sit in tombs and spend the night in the secret places, who eat pig's flesh and broth and tainted meat is in their vessels, who say, Keep to yourself, do not come near me, for I am too holy for you. Um, what do you think it says? Who, uh, who says, Keep to yourself, do not come near me, for I am too holy for you. These are a smoke in my nostrils. A fire that burns all the day. Behold, it is written before me. I will not keep silent, but I will repay. I will indeed repay into their bosom. Both your iniquities and your father's iniquities together, says the Lord. Because they made offerings on the mountains and assaulted me on the hills. I will measure into their bosom payment for their former deeds. Thus says the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and they say, Do not destroy it, for there is a blessing in it. So, so I will not... So it says, So will... Shoot. So I will do for my servants' sake, and not destroy them all. I will bring forth offspring from Jacob, which is Israel, and from Judah, possessors of, them, of my mountains. My chosen shall possess it, and my servants shall dwell there. Sh uh, Sharon shall become a pasture for flocks, and the valley of Achor a place for herds to lie down, for my people who have, brought me, who, who, uh, who have sought me. But you who forsake the Lord, who forget my holy mountain, who set a table for for a fortune, and fill cups of mixed wine for destiny, I will destine you to the, to the sword, and all of you shall bow down to the slaughter. Meaning God you know, threatened to kill him pretty much. Because when I called you, you did not answer. When I spoke, you did not listen. But you did what was evil in my eyes, and those that and the, and chose what I did not delight in. Therefore, thus said the Lord God: Behold, my servant shall eat, but you shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but you shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice. But you shall put, but you shall be put to shame. Behold, my servant shall sing for gladness of heart, and you shall cry out for pain of the heart, and shall wail for breaking of spirit. You shall leave your name to my chosen for a curse, and the Lord God will put you to death. Uh, the Lord God being Christ, and that He will put them to death. But his servants He will call by by another name, so that he who blesses himself in the in the land shall bless himself by God of truth, and he who takes an oath in the land shall swear by the God of truth because the former troubles are forgotten and are hidden from my eyes. New heavens and a new earth. For behold, I will create new heavens and a new earth. Talking about, talking about when Christ returns. He will create a new heaven and a new earth. And the former things shall not be remembered or come into mind. But will be glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem to be a joy and her people to be a gladness. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and be glad in my people. No more shall be heard in it the sound of weeping and the cry of distress. No more shall be no more shall there be in it an infant who lives but a few days, um, or an old man who does not fill out his days. Um, I mean, when Christ turns, he's going to totally be raised to death. There, there will be no more death. Um, for the young man shall die a hundred years old, and the sinner a hundred years old shall be accursed. They shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They shall not build and they shall not build and another inhabitant. They shall not plant and, and another eat. For all the days of a tree fall, this is for, for the for all the days of a tree shall the days of my people be, and my children shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain or bear children for calamity, for they shall be the offspring of the blessed of the Lord and their descendants with them. Before they call, I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall graze together. The lion shall, shall eat straw like the ox, and dust shall be the serpent's food. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountains, says the Lord. Think about that. When Christ returns, there will be pretty much total, total peace when he returns. Yes, he returns to kill and destroy his enemies and, and save his children from his wrath. But when he returns, he creates a new heaven, a new earth, meaning heaven comes down to earth and it's total peace for, for all eternity. It's heaven on earth. And um, it says right here that um, 
the wolf and the lamb shall graze together, you know? Because since there's no more sin, uh, the wolf and lamb will actually walk and graze together. They will not eat each other. You know, they will, the, wolf won't, the wolf won't try to eat the lamb because there's peace, so the wolf and lamb shall graze together. The lion uh, and the ox shall also eat straw together. Um, and the, the snakes shall just eat the dust of the ground. Um, so that's pretty awesome. But that's 65. And uh, I'll be back with 66. Um, here, here shortly.